Hello everyone. Uh, recently I've made a few videos on recovering your router from a brick state. Uh, they're for TP-Link routers and uh, I've, I've made a few, one, uh, a couple using a serial uh, USB adapter to connect to it uh, hardwired and the others are to do it without a serial connection. But I've been getting a lot of questions from uh, people who have different versions of the router than what I use to recover them. and they asked me, well, what's the file supposed to be called that you know it's looking for? Well, I really can't answer that because I don't own those routers. But I do have a workaround so that you can find out what file your router is actually looking for, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, my assumption here being is that you've wa you're watching the, the video on how to recover the router, and that you've set up your uh, network connection with uh, 192.168.0.66 and that you have TFTP loaded or TFTPD program uh, already downloaded and uh, downloaded and installed as I do here just double op double click it to open it there and that you're basically ready to go with your file but you don't know what your file your recovery file is supposed to be named so the way to figure that out is is uh, to take your TFTP uh, D program, uh, configure it uh, just to listen on to your 192.168.0.66 uh, IP address. Uh, whether you're in the right, uh, you know, folder where you put the uh, uh, file or not really doesn't matter because what we're finding out here is we're going to find out what the router, what file the router is actually looking for. So we need the TFTPD program reading uh, or listening on the right IP address. And now I'm just going to start up the router, holding down the reset button for the three seconds. And it should initiate a connection to TFTPD. So let's do that. One, two, three. All right, I let go of the switch. And something happened because my IP address changed there. Okay, so let's take a look at the log viewer. So you know it tried to connect but obviously there's nothing that's going to connect because hey you know there's no it's not set up to uh, show any file but if you go along the, these tabs here you have TFTP server client uh, TFTP client DHCP server syslog server if you go to log viewer you'll notice right here that it logs what that router is looking for I said read requests for a file called WR841N version 9 underscore TP underscore recovery dot bin. So if you don't know what your router, what file your router is looking for, simply by doing what I just did, and I'll do it again here, I'll just go to, uh, you know, 192.168.0.66, the server interface, like I told you in all my router, in all my router recovery uh, TP link videos to set it up. Now again, I'm assuming that you've watched those videos and you have it set up this way. And basically, hold down your, uh, turn off your router, hold down your reset button, turn on your router, and keep holding down your reset button for three seconds. One, two, three. And you see another entry come up. And the entry says the same thing again. You know, it keeps trying, tries three times, but it tells you what file your router is looking for right here okay so if you don't know what to rename your recovery file to and it should be your latest uh, firmware upgrade from TP-Link for your version of router make sure you got the correct version file for your firmware and you know right here if you look it will actually tell you anyway because right here it says what version v9 okay so I'm using a v9 WRN 841 router and that's the file it's looking for and that's how you find out what file or what to rename your stock firmware file from TP-Link to. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, Thank you very much for your time and watching.